Let me just tell y'all, breastfeeding is not easy at all. Hi Sugarfoot and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be just talking about breastfeeding, okay? Some people make it look so easy and maybe to them it is, but for me, it has been a journey, okay? One, getting started was very uncomfortable. I just doubted my producing abilities a lot. Um, I pumped before the six week mark, which is when they say that you should start pumping. It was just difficult getting used to the feeling of when the milk just comes down. Oh my gosh, that feeling is, I'm still not used to it. He also, if you're exclusively breastfeeding, your baby is gonna feed throughout the night because breast milk is mostly water. So it's not gonna really fill them up. This is why most people that well, yeah, most people that are breastfeeding, they co-sleep. So the baby just sleeps with them. I don't really like that. I don't like co-sleeping because one, I never really fully sleep when I have a baby next to me because I have to be like hyper aware of their breathing, where I am when I'm sleeping, because sometimes you move around and get sleep and that scares the crap out of me. So I never fully sleep when he's next to me. Um, so cold sleeping was not a thing, which means of course I have to get up throughout the night every two hours to feed. And y'all, that means you never actually get sleep. You might fall asleep for like 45 minutes to an hour or so, but you never really get sleep. Um, that REM cycle gets messed up every time you actually feel like you're falling asleep. That REM cycle just gets chopped in half, which means you're exhausted all the time. So that was difficult for me. I love my sleep. I'm a napper, okay? I will nap all day if I can. And the fact that I couldn't actually sleep was, it's, it's, couldn't do it. Um, another thing is, I don't like when babies are old enough or get to a, a certain age where they can pull your shirt down or like grab your boob and put it in their mouth. That, I, it, it just rubs me the wrong way. I don't like that. So I always knew that I wasn't gonna breastfeed for long. I just didn't know how long I would do it. Um, I didn't know when I would stop. One of the main things that really bothers me like so much is when I'm sleeping and my milk comes in, I'll just end up leaking all over the bed. So now I'm in a puddle of breast milk, which is wet. Nobody wants to be in a puddle of wet. It's like waking up to pee. If, I don't, it's just annoying. So I end up having to sleep with a towel under me it's just, I hate it. I, I, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't. And a lot of the times the baby is not even feeding. He's just using you as a pacifier or it's just using you as a pacifier. And I don't like that either because now I have to be at your beck and call every time you're cranky. I have to pop my boob out. So at first my son didn't want to take a pacifier, but I was like, look, this is this is it. This is all you're gonna get. So <laughs> I'm not gonna keep popping my boob out just because you're cranky. So he had to get adjusted to the pacifier and it was some crying involved. And I was okay with going through that crying phase because I couldn't do it. I could not do it. I also started him on formula. I started him on formula when he was, going on four months, he was about three or four months, I started him on formula, um, and I was doing half formula, half milk, just to get his body used to the formula. So now he's on mostly, like his bottles are all formula, and maybe in the morning, sometimes in the morning and sometimes at night, I'll breastfeed. But for the most part, he's formula baby. Um, he also started eating solids kind of early because he had like an early development of his what is this? I don't like, I'm gonna say neck movement, his like his mobility 
his mobility was developed pretty early. So we started him on solids pretty early as well. So he gets a full belly of fruits and vegetables with a bottle of formula and he is out for the night, okay? He may wake up once throughout the night, I pop his pacifier back in his mouth and walk out and he's good. Or I don't even touch him, I just leave him be and he'll just fall back to sleep on his own. He also goes to sleep on his own now because I had to, sleep training is a whole nother story, but transitioning from strictly breastfeeding to breastfeeding with formula has been a godsend. I have been able to sleep, okay? I've been able to sleep and I cherish my sleep so much. So I'm just ecstatic about that. So all the moms out there strictly breastfeeding and co-sleeping, I commend you. It's not something that I can do. It's just not for me. Um, it's just not like, mm -mm. And one thing I like, I always said, I don't like, I don't, I'm not a fan of a baby having full teeth in their mouth and still breastfeeding. Drinking breast milk, fine. But drinking out of a bottle or a sippy cup on my boob with teeth, not gonna work. So I knew I was gonna have to transition him to a bottle at some point. I just didn't know when I was gonna do it. Turns out I did it pretty early for me. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Breastfeeding is not easy, okay? It's not. You gotta find the right move. Like it's it's such a trial and error thing, it, but it's it's a trial and error for months, <laughs> for months. It's not like one day you try this, one day you try that. You have to try something for at least a couple days to see how it works. How it it's just a lot, and it's not for me. It's not. So yeah. Breast, breastfeeding is not easy, okay? It's not. I commend y'all, but no. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and check out all of my other videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.